Now, in this episode of Understanding Traffic, I want to focus on your specialization. So, when you have a city that is specializing, and this, this city began as a drilling, we were drilling for oil, and you can still kind of see where some of the leftover of the drilling for oil have transformed the city into an electronic city. One thing that I do for a specialization, because remember, this is now the main source of income for this city. So I don't want my specialization this area to have to deal with traffic associated with the city so one thing that I do is I create its own zone or its own neighborhood so as you can see you can you know I've got my industrial area got my residential area so that's you know you've got cars going back and forth you've got mass transit but one thing that I do with a specialization is I basically give it its own dedicated road to that particular zone so the only traffic As you can see, I've got dead-end streets. So the only traffic that is here is traffic that is there for a purpose. And that purpose is delivering my resources or exporting. And then, of course, uh employees will come to work but I'm not getting lots of other other traffic that can slow down my progress um, and it doesn't have to be just uh, industry this is something if it's a specialization that I, I really want to make sure that it's not being hindered um, this is one of the methods that I use. Now here is another example. So now the specialization of this city is gambling. So I've got my casinos, my large casino, my um, smaller gambling houses, my expo center. Now, if you will look, you can make out my actual city. So there is my industrial area, there is my residential area, but you'll see that I have one expressway leading into my actual city as far as this part of the residential area. And then I also link my city here, here, and here. But you'll also notice in this V shape, I have two expressways that lead to my gambling, tourist, entertainment area. Now, I do have a side road here, but because of the way it's laid out, this is not going to get heavily used by the, the general population. This is uh, individuals who are, maybe they're going to gamble, maybe some employees, but it's just another example of kind of 
uh, separating out my specialization from the actual city. Um, yes, you can put gambling and and the expo center here, but what what would ha be happening is normal day-to-day -day traffic would be competing with my specialization, especially if I have an expo center. I want my traffic that's coming from other cities to be able to get to the expo center easily. So, in this angle you can see a definite definite dividing between the city and my gambling area. I find that works well. But just a little bit of information, uh, two examples of how I take my specialization within a city, give it its own dedicated expressway kind of kind of separated a bit from the city so it's not having to compete with the normal traffic of the city my residentials going to work whether it's an industrial or they're going to work in a commercial area uh, garbage trucks um, all the different types of traffic that is fine for this part of the city but I want to kind of keep it away from here so just a little bit of information about um, traffic when it comes to a specialization so I hope this helps good luck with your city and we'll see you next time